There's no sign of early retirement for Damien Hirst, the bad boy of the contemporary art world. On September 15 and 16, he'll be partnering with venerable London auction house Sotheby's for a one-of-a-kind sale of more than 200 works. In a bold break from tradition, and for the first time ever, Sotheby's and the artist will be auctioning works younger than two years old. Hearst, more famous for his pickled sharks and obsession with death than for his genteel relations with the art establishment, is expected to rake in at least $120 million from the auction. Hearst is the world's most expensive living artist, so the sale has the potential to shatter confidence in the art market if all doesn't go to plan. But that's not what the wheelers and dealers of the art world are most concerned about. They fear that by selling work directly to the public at auction, Hearst could be signing the death warrant of galleries. However, Hearst himself says it's not just about the extra cash. He genuinely wants artists to have another option. Among the pieces set to go under the hammer, the most imposing one is the golden calf, which is expected to fetch at least $14 million. The butterfly paintings may appeal to collectors with a more classic taste, and in times of turmoil, they may also prove more soothing. I think the thing about the art market is that you know, uh, unlike in equity, paintings are things that you can actually enjoy and, and hang on your wall. And I think that sometimes in times of sort of financial crisis, it's actually quite nice to run to things which are actually tangible and which you can really enjoy. And, and art fulfills that, you know, people buy art because of passion. And if you want to partake in the action next week, but can't afford the hefty price tags, there's always the catalogue. It costs just $80 and is already tipped to become a collector item itself. And if Sotheby's won't take it back, there's always that other old and venerable auction house, eBay. For Marker Watch in London, I'm Aude Lagorce.